uh, it's um, um, the character of such a summit that uh, so say the declaration, the final declaration is negotiated uh, a little bit, till the very last moment. But I have some indications uh, that uh, we will not only find uh, an agreement, but also that, and I'm very confident that uh, tomorrow afternoon we will adopt the declaration, which of course is uh, not making everybody 100% happy, but this is uh, also uh, the nature of such a declaration, covering uh, <coughs> the interests of 34 countries. This is something one should not forget. It's not only about the six already divergent interests, but also 28 member states might have different views. And in that, in that respect, it's the particular um, uh, skillness of diplomats and Sherpas to find a solution. So I'm confident that there will be a declaration uh, and uh, uh, also covering uh, the, the, the issues you have raised. Uh, but once again, this was why I have so much focused in my introduction. That, and this leads me to the question of uh, the colleague from Georgia. I mean, and that's why I have, for instance, referred in that kind of uh, the increase of export to Ukraine, but they could do the same with Georgia. Uh, when it comes to Ukraine, Georgia, Moldova, those who are, so to say, with the clearest expressed uh, aspiration to the Union. We have now delivered, so to say, what immediately is possible, visa liberalization, but in particular uh, association agreement and this uh, deep and comprehensive free trade agreement. But now, guys, it's important really to implement it. And look, it's not possible to have something where implementation utilizing the potential takes year in order really to to reach cruising speed in terms of using all the possibilities uh, and already thinking what could be the next step so it's really about focusing on the homework which should be done uh, because it's a process which is uh, which helps these countries uh, to move further and closer to the European Union. But it's too premature to speculate about next steps and, 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 and time perspectives, etc., and possibilities. I mean, it's not a particular secret that also the European Union, after uh, the financial and economic crisis, after, not sure if I can already say, after the migration crisis, there is a need and of course Brexit is also something which was uh, so to say something unprecedented uh, there is so to say um, a desire um, I can even say to, to have now a sound internal consolidation and this is also important for us uh, to be more consolidated to be in an even better position to meet all the challenges uh, we are facing uh, in a global uh, competition. And if we are, as European Union, <coughs> more consolidated, more effective, this has an immediate impact also to our neighborhood. And therefore, don't underestimate, so to say, all these elements. So. Uh, I think now we should really focus on these very concrete deliverables. This is not, so to say, trying to distract from something, quite the opposite, to focus on what is needed. Um, I am not saying as a precondition. Everything what we are doing is uh, to support our neighborhood, to assist, but we are doing this also for very egoistic reasons. Uh, because if there is peace, stability, prosperity in our neighborhood, once again, this also gives us more, um, um, uh, so say, safety 
and, and, and uh, political stability. And finally, I mean, all your countries are emerging markets. Also from a European perspective, your countries are very attractive because there is a lot of uh, still untapped potential and therefore there are many good reasons to have a very close and strong cooperation. And um, finally, and for instance, this is a discussion I had several times with uh, uh, Prime Minister, ministers uh, from, from Georgia, but also from other countries, but in particular from Georgia. It's about expectation management. Uh, because if, if you say we will become members of the European Union, this is immediately not realistic. But people, once hearing that, believe this can happen in two, three years. And then um, a government is under pressure and this is also not our intention to, 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 to put a successful working government under pressure. So also this is part of political uh, art and skillness to manage expectations and to deliver on something which is possible, which is concrete, which is visible, which is tangible, tangible and which is showing results uh, for the citizens. And if this is the case, there is even more confidence to a government that they might be able to go the next steps. Thank you. So we are taking the next